Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rose Shaibu. If you are stopping by for the first time, and if you're not, welcome. This will be my first ever self-development video. I was skeptical about posting self-development videos because I am still working on myself and I just feel like I'm not in the right place to, you know, give self-development advice because I'm a work in progress, but fuck that guys. This 2024 is not the time to be looking down on ourselves and everyone just needs to come out from their shell. So if you're still in your shell, this is me trying to encourage you to come out of your shell and do that thing that you are so afraid of doing. I am not where I used to be. I am not where I started from. So definitely there's something going on. No matter how slow it is, the growth there has to be appreciated I, I need to be grateful to god for my success so far my growth so far my journey so far if i'm being honest god has really been faithful and and we need to learn how to be more grateful and not complain all the time about stuff without further much talking this video is going to be about my 2024 ins and out it's kind of me telling you what i want to be doing and what i don't want to be doing anymore this 2024 these are not my goals here these are just things that I will let into my life this year and things that I won't let into my life this year. So without further much talking, let's get right into this video. So what I'm going to start talking about are my aims before I talk about what I'm letting out the window this 2024. So number one, I made a list you guys. I don't know if you guys can see this, but I made a list. So I'm just going to start talking about them now. Number one on my in list is losing weight. For the longest time, I've been such a I don't know if I'll say I'm suffering from body dysmorphia, but the way I talk down on myself, the way I hate my body so much, I don't think it is even healthy for someone to hate themselves so much. I don't want to go into it, but I'm trying to accept my body and at the same time, I want to work on it to be a better version of myself. It's not, I don't, I'm working on trying to stop hating myself. I don't hate myself anymore. I just want to work on myself to be better. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I will just have to do do it like home workouts and maybe work on my diet or something because you guys going to the gym is expensive. It's not even about the gym fair now. It's about how I'm going to get there. The, the only gym that is close to my house that I like, I will have to be using both to get there. And, and you guys know how the situation of the country is right now. Bolting every day to that place is going to cost me a lot So I, I noticed these few days that I've been losing weight and it's simply because I reduced the portion of food I eat So I'm just going to do what I can this 2024 you guys we are trying to level up on a budget You don't have to have the whole money in the world to level up your life So this is me telling you that you can lose weight from the comfort of your home You don't have to go to the gym, but if you can afford it, please do that. Okay, the next thing on my in list is more reading. You can count how many books are. I look so beautiful. In this last year, if you are watching my vlogs, you must have seen some of the books that I told you guys I got. If I told you that I haven't finished a chapter of any of those books, you won't believe it. So I really want to read more this year. I know it's going to improve the way I speak, just for my brain to be active. So I want to be doing more reading this year. Let me just put that out there. I'm going to try my best. I'm not saying I'm going to read 10 books, but I'm just going to start with what I have at home. I will make sure I try not to buy new books. I will make sure I finish what I have at home before I try to get new books. The number three on my in list is saving more but I know that I've been making money but I just haven't been saving. You know how there's a time in your life you make money but the money is not even enough for you to save but I just want to try my best that no matter how little it is, no matter how small it is, I will save from it. I will just try my best. Fingers crossed that this year gets better and then I make more money so I can save more money and eventually invest with that money but no matter how little it is I want to really try my best to save. I use Piggy Vest. I've been using Piggy Vest for years now and it has been helping me even if I've not been saving it has been helping me in like keeping 
my money like safely without spending it anyhow especially if i want to get something i always use it to save my money and not sorry for the interruption guys my battery is low so i just plugged it hopefully it's charging while i'm making my video this is the reason why i got the sony because it can charge while recording your video when i was using my canon i couldn't do that so that's that about saving i don't have much to say so no matter what you're earning no matter how little it is you guys you want to try as much as possible to save but i'm still learning different ways to save i'm still working on that if i have more tips on that i'm going to let you guys know but for now i just know that i really want to take my savings seriously so the fourth thing on my list is discipline i've said this countless times on my channel that I, I lack discipline you guys i don't know it's just so hard it's so so hard to be disciplined i can't stress that enough it is so so hard i can't tell you how hard it is i can't stress that enough but at the same time that is what is going to put food on your table that is what is going to change your life that is what is going to move you from one level to another that is what is going to change your story if you are not disciplined you guys i don't think you will see results I'm sorry but I don't think you'll see results so you just have to take it seriously. The way I'm emphasizing on it like this, this is how I normally tell myself all the time. You have to try. No matter how hard it is, you have to try. You just need to do it. You have to do it. Nobody will come and be disciplined for you. So you have to help yourself you guys. Just, I'm, I'm going to do that for myself very well this year. I plan on being very intentional this year and i'm not going to take it for granted so i'm encouraging you as well as you are watching me don't take it for granted being disciplined is just going to change your life and you just have to sorry guys i have to go turn up the volume from the tv in the tele in the sitting room work on your discipline in every area of your life in your relationship in your spiritual life in your emotional life you guys in your financial life you have to be disciplined in all areas of your life and that is going to help you i tried doing it for a while it helped but then you know how laziness and procrastination you just have to stop procrastinating and try your possible best to be disciplined you don't have to be hard on yourself just start from the littlest thing give yourself a very simple routine do not be too hard on yourself trust me not everybody is disciplined 24 hours round the clock but just try your best to make sure that you accomplish what you set your mind to do start from little things and before you know it you will grow into being disciplined it is a journey and not something that you have to do or have it right now right now it is a journey so if you haven't already start your journey to being a disciplined person from now okay one step at a time take baby steps do not rush yourself at any time the fifth thing on my list is work on my relationship with god i've been falling off and coming back falling off and coming back but hopefully this year i really need to build my relationship with god i really want to work on it i want to be intimate with god that is how deeply i really want to be connected with god and i'm going to work on that i'm going to do that so that one should even be the number one on my list in my aims for 2024 because i really want to work on it and i also want to be going to physical church this year i'm going to try my best for the past two years i've been doing online church if i'm not mistaken yes guys but this january i went home and we we're going to church like almost every day and i just really miss that feeling of going to church like physical church so this year i'm going to try my best to go to physical church i'm new to lagos and i haven't found a church that i really want to be going to yet i am catholic if you guys don't know but i just don't want to go to catholic anymore so so the next thing on my list is therapy you guys therapy is so expensive if they even give you the price of your of a therapy session see all that your depression it will disappear <laughs> but seriously trust me you guys there are so many ways you can do therapy if you can't afford paying for like therapy sessions just try to journal try to work out try to do meditation try other things try other affordable things that you can do just to relieve your stress and anxiety whatever you're going through just look for a way to help yourself feel better okay when you have the money for therapy you can also do that but if you don't have it just try to meditate every day try to listen to your thoughts try to write down your thoughts by journaling 
all those good stuff you guys try to read things or listen to things that will calm you and relieve your stress trust me they help even if they don't solve 100% of your problems but at least it will keep you in check and help you manage your stress and anxiety so the next thing on my list is networking the way I film and post on TikTok people don't believe that I am shy but I am extra 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 shy I am a very shy person like as I'm winding my mouth like this by the time I go out now my mouth will be mute <laughs> But yeah, I am a very shy person and I really want to work on that this year because that is what is stopping me from networking. And in this business of content creation and influencing, you have to build your network if you want to be successful. And I want to be successful and I'm going to be successful. So for that reason, I am going to build my network this year, both brand-wise, like content creator friends and just building my social life generally this staying at home every day i really have to work on it even if we know that going out these days if you don't have money you guys stepping out is a problem but that money will come in jesus name <laughs> so, yeah. so the next thing on my list is gratitude that is something i mentioned in the beginning of this video we are so hard on ourselves that we don't even take time to be grateful for what we have there are so many people that don't have what we have right now and there are so many people that we are better than you are not where you used to be no matter how how bad it is you can't tell me that you are where you are before what I know and what has worked for me and what I believe in is that as long as you don't give up and you keep working so hard to achieve that thing you want to achieve you are going to get there but on the journey of wanting or pursuing that thing that you want you want to not forget to be grateful so that God is going to bless you more because we being ungrateful pisses God off and we don't want to piss God off that's the last person you want to piss off all I'm trying to say is that appreciate what you have right now if you watch my vlogs you will hear me always thanking god or saying thank you because what can you do than to say thank you for what you have if not for anything you guys i'm breathing i have two legs i have two hands i am beautiful you guys people that don't have leg and they don't have hand what are they going to do would they wake up and complain that ah my camera is not good my light is not good or ah, you guys people are out there very hungry people have worse scenarios worse cases than the current stage you're in i know that every pain has everybody has a way of dealing with their pain but in whatever pain you're going through in whatever is going on with you just try as much as possible to be grateful because there are some people that don't even have what you have and there are some people that even have more than you and they are still very unhappy so in general what i'm trying to say is in whatever stage you find yourself just be grateful whether good times in bad times be grateful that's all you can do and that's all you need to do for god to keep blessing you if you're an ungrateful person trust me you are going to just be holding down your blessings so if you sit down trust me if you sit down and write out the good things and how many times god's grace has shined upon your life you are going to be surprised how much god has really been doing for us and we've been taking it for granted i want to be practicing more gratitude i know i used to do it before but i want to do it more even more this year that's it guys for my ins now we are going to my outs the things i want to take out of my life <laughs> and the first thing on my list is comparison you guys the way i compare myself to others even unconsciously sometimes i do it and then i have to call myself back and be like your journey is different i always remind myself you don't have to compare yourself like in a negative way you can do it in a positive way whereby it will motivate you and inspire you to do better for yourself but by the time you are comparing yourself to others in a negative way that is when it is bad trust me you don't want to do that you guys so so if people are where i want to be i don't have to be angry or be comparing myself that i'm supposed to have this thing or i'm supposed to this thing that this person has i'm supposed to have it why why should you have it and why not that person as for me i'm working on myself and i'm going to stop it this is a very bad habit that i want to erase out of my life the next thing on my list is people pleasing you guys this has kept me in a box for years right from when i can remember right from when i was in uni you guys i please people so much to the point that i forget about myself i don't even know how to love myself because of the rate at which I please people the rate at which I prefer to see smiles on other people's face except my own face that is really bad and it's something that I'm really working on and I really want to erase out of my life not just my house I'm erasing it out of my life this 2024 I really need to work on it and I'm also going to be praying towards that because 
this thing is something that is in me it's already in me for me to please people but i need to work on it it's not healthy for me not to love myself i love other people more than myself it's really unhealthy and that can also lead to depression and it's a lot you guys so i'm not saying i'm going to love myself more than every other person but at least there should be a balance because if there's anybody that will always be there for me it's myself and not anybody else you will always be there for yourself in good and bad times there are people that you you can offend and they will walk away they won't be able to forgive you but you have yourself and you will always forgive yourself and try to be better so in essence what i'm trying to say is learn how to say no <laughs> learning how to say no is what i'm trying to say with this point so the next thing on my list is overthinking you guys <laughs> I am an overthinker and I really need to work on it. Sometimes I overthink my content, I overthink my work, I overthink my words. In so many ways, I overthink. It's good to overthink, but in a healthy way. You not overthink to the point that you get sick or it gets depressing, and you overthink to the point where you don't actually you end up not doing anything. That's what I do. I overthink my content to the point where I can stay a week without creating content because I'm overthinking. I'm overthinking it. I'm I'm like in my head. But I just need to get out of my head more. The way I'm thinking in my head, as I'm thinking it, I'm executing it. So not just lying down on my bed and being in my head overthinking and moping all day. Whatever happens, I will learn from my mistake. It's better than not doing it and overthinking to the point whereby you end up not doing anything. So the next thing on my list is indiscipline. So I don't need to talk much about this. It's just the opposite of the discipline I talked about in my aims. Then the last but not the least on my list for out for the things that I'm taking out of my life this 2024 is being sorry for myself and looking for people validation sometimes I can be a lot I can just be there feeling sorry for myself and blaming the whole world for my problems sometimes I pick myself back up and then I move and I pass through that phase that I'm going through but I really want to do it less I want to remove that thought of blaming other people or holding anybody in my heart for not helping me or blaming people generally for my problems <laughs> in a situation whereby maybe I need to get something and I can't afford it I will not be like oh god why can't I afford this thing I'll just be moping around all day I'll be so sad and be saying ah why no but why can't I afford this thing no I'm supposed to have this thing like I'll I'll just be there feeling so sorry and so helpless instead of me to like maybe work with what I have or look for a, be a better way to like manage my stress so instead I spend my time being sorry for myself and forgetting that I can you know do better or do something else in my life it is not the end of the world so I just want to try as much as possible to reduce the way I am always sorry for myself so if you don't pick yourself up nobody will pick you up and looking for people's validation that I'm talking about just like I said I am a people pleaser and I love people more than myself I don't love myself you guys I I really need to work on that. Even saying it now is, you know, cringing me, but yeah. I always listen to what people tell me about myself instead of me listening to myself or, or telling myself that I am worth something. So I want to reduce the way I look for people's validation and be nice to myself, be kind to myself and just talk to myself with love generally. And we have come to the end of this video guys i hope you love it i just wanted to keep it short and simple i just hope i haven't talked so much i know how to talk a lot bear with me guys but i'm going to try as much as possible to make sure this video is not long so comment down below your ins and outs for 2024 let's continue this conversation in the comment section and every friday you guys i'm going to post a self-development video i'm going to try my best to give you tips that i have tried and tested things that have worked for me if you have stayed till this point drop a yellow heart for me down in the comment section so i'll know that you watched till this point and if you are still here as well don't forget to subscribe and share this video with anyone you think might need this video i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys